Today I have the pleasure, all the way from Australia, we have Nick Erner from Alkane Resources. How are you today, Nick? G'day, Tracy. I'm great. Really enjoying being here, thanks. Well, I'm so glad you're here because I don't know that some of our audience may not appreciate how involved you are in the gold industry. So can you tell yeah. us a little bit more about the Tamingley Gold Project? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, thanks for asking me. It's a gold mine that we discovered through the 2000s because we had another active gold mine there at Peak Hill. We're talking about somewhere, for the viewers, we're talking about somewhere that's about 400 kilometres from Sydney, about four hours drive from Sydney. And so there we have a gold mine, it's been open cut and we produced roughly 70,000 ounces for the last four or five years, just transitioning undergrounds. So this financial year, ours run July to June, we can do about 40,000 ounces and then keep a bit under that level coming up from underground. It's been a really good income earner for us. So for those of you out there that may not appreciate you cannabis investors looking at gold, yep. this comes to about what, 80 to 100 million a year? Oh yeah, more than that of revenue, you know, 100 to 120 million a year of revenue. Yeah, absolutely. You can't smoke it. You know, it's uh, gold bars this big, pumping a couple of those out a week, yeah. And so we're trying to bring investor intel, audience members that have come from the, the cannabis sector, ever to gold a little bit. So yep. you're here at PDAC, what are you seeing? Well, it's really interesting. Personally, being in mining, I find this whole environment really exciting. What people might not realise is, people see, oh, US gold, it's going nowhere, they worry about Trump, you know, 1250, 1300 US. But Australian gold right now, 1850 bucks. 1850. With most Australian gold mines, for instance, our forecast cost production this year between 1050 and 1150 Aussie. Think about those margins, right? It's a real purple patch for Australian gold at the moment. Very, very exciting. A lot of new projects coming online. And so here at PDAC, you know, we're interacting with other people, understanding what's occurring in Canada, what's occurring around the world, meeting with technology suppliers, and of course, investment people as well. So let me clarify, we have an Australian gold bull market, basically, is what you're basically, saying. Basically, absolutely, yeah. Okay, and what do you think it's gonna take to get it over here to North America? The bull market? Mm, yes. That's, that's pretty interesting. I mean, Canada's, Canada's a bit more bullish, certainly, than North America. I think what it's going to take is continued status quo as it is, because it's an uncertain environment. People generally move to gold in an uncertain environment. So I think we'll start to see that come off. And we're seeing Australian companies start to look outside of Australia, because some of the best projects in Australia have been developed and that investment's gone in. So they've got free cash, a lot of cash being generated, and we're starting to see that move offshore into stable jurisdictions like Canada and North America. So I think we'll see that across the coming year. So with that rising interest, of course, and people looking at you as leaders in the gold yeah. market right yeah. now, uh, what would you say we should anticipate in spring for both the Tamingley project and for the gold market in general? So for the Tamingley project, you should see us continuing to release results about we're going underground, we're on track, we're on budget, it's going well, we're generating more cash than we expected. Because that's what's occurring, that's been our general trend. So just continued success in an existing producer transitioning to underground. That's what you'll see from us. In the gold market in general, I feel like we'll continue to see record gold prices. You know, where the quarters that are occurring now are amongst the highest quarters in history in real terms in gold price for Australian dollar gold. I think we're going to continue to see that largely as well. And you'll see this tension as well between will I, won't I hedge at these prices amongst producers. We hedge to stay in production. You know, our hedge book is in the high 1700 Australian. So yeah, I think we'll see continued, a lot of continued interest in our sector in amongst the producers. Well, Nick, thank you so much for joining us. And for all of you out there in Investor Intel, you want to be looking at gold and you want to be watching Alcane Resources. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.